So in this video, we're going to talk about how you can send free text with Home Assistant. So yes, it's true. You can send text messages using Home Assistant for free. For my enthusiasts who have been tinkering in the tech space for a while, you probably know of voice over IP services that enable digital access to telephonic features like text and voicemail. Now, usually these services require you to pay a small monthly fee or you can pay it per use. And I've seen a few tutorials utilizing these VoIP features to enable Home Assistant to send text messages. However, I have an alternative for you that's 100% free for Home Assistant. Regular messaging rates will still apply for your phone. Now, some of you may be wondering, why would I want this? In a previous video, I talked about creating a Home Assistant chatbot utilizing Telegram. Though the process wasn't difficult, I do think that creating a Telegram chatbot may be too high a barrier for the more casual enthusiasts. Using text messages lower the barrier to entry and create a naturally native, no-nonsense alternative to speak to Home Assistant. Now, to be fully transparent, I probably wouldn't use this method to trigger automation. Instead, I would use this to basically let Home Assistant keep me informed of whatever's going on around the house. Currently, Home Assistant can speak through smart speakers such as Alexa and Google Home and send in-app notifications. Text message is another modality that you could use to leverage if you're not a fan of the existing methods. As a matter of fact, using the method I'm about to describe, you get two notification types for the price of one. Now that's because you can send free text messages via email. <coughs> All right, so some of you may remember way back in the land before time in the olden days of yore when the hand sign for phones used to be this before it became this. I know it's sad, right? Ugh. You could send text messages via email. Now, it wasn't very popular as far as I knew, but it still worked and this ancient vestige of archaic technology still works today, sort of. There are caveats, but I'll explain those at the end. Now, each carrier has a domain unique to them. When you add a number to that domain, the carrier will route it to the associated device. For example, if your number is this, and your carrier is AT&T, for example, then looking up your carrier's SMS to email domain, you could receive a message at the following email address. In the description, I placed a link that lists all major carriers and their SMS domains. Okay, so armed with this knowledge, we simply need to enable Home Assistant to send emails. To do this, install the SMTP integration. Follow the instructions and add the necessary configuration settings for your email provider. Make sure in the recipient area, you put the special email address that I mentioned earlier. For sender, I just put Home Assistant. Now you can use the notify service just like how you would for the Home Assistant notifications, except you can now use email. Okay, so if you guys have found any of this useful or interesting, please like and subscribe. Doing so helps me to know what you guys like and help me to kind of find the intersection between my likes and your likes so I can create pretty cool content for you guys. All right, so continuing on, what are some of the caveats? Carriers don't like this method, as far as I know. This prevents someone somewhere from making money, so there's a possibility that your carrier may try to block the domain if you send too many messages. The other downside to this is that emails are not 100% reliable. I've tested this out with several Gmail accounts and Microsoft accounts and managed to actually test this on both iPhones and Androids, and this was my experience. Google worked when sending messages to both the iPhone and the Androids, however, only on the Android was I able to respond back via the text message. Microsoft also worked when sending text messages, but the same was still true when trying to reply via text message. I suspect that the way iMessage works interferes in some capacity with trying to send a reply. One other thing to note is that there have been a couple of instances where sending messages via Gmail didn't work at all. Gmail would say that the message was delivered, but then 24 to 48 hours later, I would get the mail demon. My experience was further validated by some other individuals on blogs and forums that I've read, so I wouldn't suggest making this a critical path in your automation. But it's interesting to note that I haven't encountered this particular issue with Microsoft. But, but to be fair, I... I did do more tests with Gmail, so I don't know if that played a factor. Now, if you're looking for something reliable, I would probably pay for the VoIP services. 
However, if you just need a one-off communication, then I think this email method would work great. Also keep in mind that text messages are technically emails. So you can always add like an if this then that to further augment your communication. Either way, I'm just presenting you with a bunch of options and ideas to level up your automation experience. Okay, bye.